When a casualty occurs, a series of steps and efforts are made to make sure the casualty gets the care they need. Casualty organization and transportation is a critical step to avoiding further injury or death. Today, we will go over the concepts of casualty evacuation, or CASEVAC, and medical evacuation, or MEDEVAC, and the casualty collection point. A MEDEVAC is an evacuation platform that is designated, equipped, manned, and marked to conduct evacuation of patients with en route medical care. They are protected by the Geneva Convention and are not considered to be battlefield targets. Conversely, they cannot be used to conduct other missions other than medevac while marked. CASEVAC is the evacuation of casualties aboard non-medical vehicles or aircraft without dedicated en route medical care. It could also include movement by litter or other carry methods. This kind of movement is likely to occur close to the point of injury, especially in cases of less significant casualties. By its nature, medevac platforms are restricted by their ability to traverse terrain and their limited number, and cannot reliably be the first movement vehicle. CASEVAC has inherent restrictions. First, en route care is not likely to be available, as unit medical staff should stay with the unit to provide continuing life-saving support. However, units may decide to task a provider for the transport when they see fit. Second, CASVAC platforms do not feature medical equipment to provide or continue care en route. Third, most Army platforms are not designed to carry casualties, so even when en route care is available, it may not be effective. Fourth, there may be competing requirements for the CASVAC platform, so units need to understand where platforms are and what they are tasked with. In some situations, commanders may task platforms to be on standby, not available for other taskings. Finally, CASEVAC platforms are not afforded Geneva Convention protections and are considered targets on the battlefield. Though, this also means that the platform can protect itself with mounted crew serve weapons as the commander sees fit. There are three levels of CASEVAC distinguished by their planning and resourcing. First is dedicated CASEVAC, where there are vehicles identified and reserved for the mission. This will also include dedicated crews and equipment who are not tasked with other missions. This level should be used when casualty rates are expected to exceed local medevac capacities and should be rehearsed. Second is designated CASEVAC, where vehicles and crews are identified to conduct the evacuation mission as a secondary task in a contingency. The crew must be briefed of this task and they should be prepared to conduct it. Third is platform of opportunity where any given platform can perform the mission. This is high risk, as the platform may not be prepared for the role, resulting in additional injury or mortality in some situations. Though it is preferable to transport casualties from the point of injury to the point of care, that is rarely feasible. The first stop in the initial litter carry is usually the Casualty Collection Point, or CCP. The CCP is a pre-coordinated point at echelon where leaders will evacuate the patients at their echelon. The CCP should be managed by a medic or combat lifesaver who will triage casualties for care and transportation. They should be planned at locations that are convenient for both air and ground transportation, but not too far from mission locations. From the CCP, casualties are either CASEVAC to the next level CCP, a field hospital, an ambulance exchange point, or will be directly medevaced. CCP operations should be a standard operating procedure event for every unit, trained and rehearsed with frequency. The location of the CCP should be known by every soldier and where possible, evacuation to the CCP should be rehearsed before a mission. Where possible, units should manage transportation process to maximize the use of medevac for higher priority patients and use CASEVAC for milder cases. It is important to triage transportation wisely to provide effective and efficient care. Additionally, remains of deceased casualties should not be transported by a medevac or CASEVAC. There are six to eight ground medevac ambulances supporting the typical infantry battalion of 500 soldiers, and 15 medevac aircraft at the Aviation Brigade supporting the division of over 15,000 soldiers. This difference in number is significant 
demonstrating the importance of CASVAC and CCP operations in large-scale combat operations. For more on casualty and medical evacuation, I encourage you to review ATP 4-02.2 and 4-02.13, both available on armypubs.army.mil.